Hi, I'm the Grow Boss, and this is video number three in a series where we're growing starts. We're doing basil starts in the store. I have got the uh, Mondi humidity domes over here, and uh, last week we planted the basil seeds. So let me just show you. This is uh, this is Clonex solution with the microbes, and this is Clonex solution only. And so I thought uh, I would show you guys, again, how to mix up nutrients for this. So let's start. We'll start with the uh, Clonex solution only. And listen, it's super easy. It's super easy to do. Listen, all you're going to do is take a water bottle like this, poke a hole in it, poke a hole in it. Uh, three mils pipette we're just going to pull up three mils of clonex solution put them in there boom drop it in there like that and we are good on clonex solution okay so that's clonex solution and now i'm just going to water with it now this is the one that's clonex solution only and it's super easy like right i just put the water i just put the water in the bottle start with the ones that are dry Give them one sec, just because the the water, the hydrostatic tension between the water and the material, between the sponge, <clears throat> and then you just go through, and you just water the whole thing once. And last time I showed you how I used the whole water bottle, right? Nope, not this time. This time I'm just going to wet them all down, and I am done. That is going back on the shelf. This is Clonex solution only. Now, this is Clonex Solution with Root Riot Maximizer in there. So I'm just going to open up the Clonex Root Maximizer. And I'm going to very, very accurately measure how much I'm putting in. Okay, that looks right. That looks more right. Listen, there's no PPM in the Clonex Root Maximizer. It's microbes. There's no PPM. So I could literally use that whole fucking jar and it wouldn't work. But there's, there's no point. So this bottle now has Clonex Root Maximizer in it along with the Clonex solution. See how easy that was? And we're just going to do the same thing when we water these, right? We'll just start by watering the ones that are the dry ones. Woo, Clonex root maximizer is a little dusty. And then you just let it sit so it, all the water soaks into those. And boom, just water the whole tray. Now, you guys saw I, I did a quick water. Um, I opened them up in the middle of the week because they were so humid. And they were still humid today when we opened them up again. So I'm just saying there's not a need for a lot of water, right? That, that's not really, it's not, more is not better. I'm trying to get them to even up and lessen out. All right, let me let me just show you. So that makes this about a week since they've been in there. So let's just do a quick uh, a quick catch up on this. This is Clonex solution only. I just want you guys to see what it looks like. This is Clonex solution only. The plants look pretty good, right? Clonex solution only. And this is Clonex Solution Root Maximizer on them. And listen, they're all looking pretty good. These look a little bit taller. Doesn't look like Joel got a seed in every hole in this one. God, Joel. And so this is Clonex Root Maximizer. And you will see a difference by next week because of how they work, right? I mean, you have to know how this stuff works. Clonex Root Maximizer works by inoculating the roots with microbes so until we have roots and until they start growing we're not particularly going to see the difference that's the thing about clonex root maximizer they're microbes they live on the roots um okay so all right so that was my clonex root maximizer update for this week uh i'll see you guys again in the middle of the week we'll talk more about that i'm the grow boss i write the grow book and equipment guide thanks for watching